Ben Sewold, Jessa Duggar's spouse, welcomes their fifth child. We are incredibly appreciative. Something wonderful has been sent to Jessa Duggar, the 31-year-old former reality star, who first revealed her pregnancy in September, shared the news of the birth of her fifth child on Instagram on Saturday. With a photo of herself and the cuddled baby in their hospital bed, she said, Baby is here and we couldn't be more grateful. She posted a link on YouTube to her birth story. The veteran of Just Counting and her 28-year-old husband Ben Sewold are parents to Henry, Fern, Ivy, and Spurgeon. The couple tied the knot in 2014. Jessa addressed the camera in the 10-minute YouTube video, saying, Today is Monday, December 18th. I woke up about 6 a.m. and I felt my eye thought, this feels like a real contraction, like a labor contraction, during the first contraction. She had reported the previous evening that she had spent most of the day experiencing what she believed to be false labor contractions, or Braxton Hicks. After timing her contractions to be roughly 15 minutes apart on Monday morning, she made the decision to be proactive by finishing filling the birth bag and adding any last-minute supplies. She also opened the baby's brand new car seat. The seasoned mother did lunges up the stairs of the recently remodeled Arkansas house she shares with her family in order to keep her labor going. The contractions were happening around every five minutes at the time, she informed Ben, who was documenting her movements, but she wanted to make sure they keep up because they had slowed down. Jessa experienced nerve pain in my leg as well. Just before 4.30 p.m., the couple arrived at the hospital, and she was admitted after being examined. Although not ideal, Jessa claimed to her fans that having an epidural made the experience 80% better despite the fact that it was great on one side and sort of spotty on the other. The baby wasn't in a good position to be born. The doctor subsequently informed her, so Jessa labored in a bunch of different positions to help rotate the baby with the assistance of her midwife. Michelle, Jessa's mother, was at her side throughout this trying period. In order to allow the laboring mother to shift positions, the epidural was stopped. Jessa acknowledged that she was not mentally prepared for the pain to return during the three to four hours it needed to position the fetus. After that was completed, on December 19, at around 2.30 in the morning, she was able to receive the pain medication again, and 15 minutes later, her water broke. Everything happened very fast. The tiny one arrived in three pushes and was deposited in his mother's crying arms. They lifted the kid up and placed him on me, and I just held him there. It was the cutest moment. I believe there were just so many emotions in that instant, she remarked. A year has passed since we lost our last child, and bringing our new baby into the world brought with it an overwhelming wave of emotions. The baby, carried by his father Ben to the scale, weighed an astounding 9 pounds, 14 ounces. The baby's name has not yet been disclosed by the couple, but they hinted at additional information in the upcoming YouTube video.